Back to action with a new battery in the camera. Eight minutes left in the period. End of the power play for Bethlehem. They hit a couple of shots, but both were saved by Zelinski with the glove hand. Now coming back up that left side will be Enright. Enright's been everywhere in this second period for the Crusaders. Under eight minutes now, three to two is our score as you listen and watch. On TimesUnion.com, the sidelines vlog. I'm Ben Myers with the X's and O's for you this evening from the Bethlehem area YMCA in this second game of the day in the Winter Classic here in Bethlehem. Seven and a half left in the period. We're halfway home, three to two. Crusaders with the lead, hand is up, shot on, bouncing the corner though, and they're trying to get the extra skater on, they'll back it up, past the blue line, it'll be a chance for Bethlehem to get an extra skater on in the attack, but they have to dump in, and it's actually going to be touched up, kind of a roughing call against Monroe Woodbury. who has one of the goals from Monroe Woodbury will be enjoying the hospitality of the penalty box for the next the minute and a half. Get it over to Gastola, out of Vincent, shot on the one time, has a defensive front and put down the ice out of danger for now. Giving pursuit is Marcotta, or Marotta for the Crusaders and he'll be make it so another couple seconds are bled off of this extra man advantage for the Eagles. Under a minute to go in the penalty now with 6.40 left to go in the period. Gastola brings it up the left hand side looking for a pass as he jumps around the board. He finds the stick of Karen, then he try and get back out to the blue line, but once again, the Woodbury there to clear it away from danger. 40 seconds left in the penalty, 6.23 left in the period. Stick on the ice, but here comes Bethlehem with Gastola on the right. Go through the circle, go behind the net now, trying to get a pass through the slot. Keeps a hold of it, now he has a shot with Ferrente, hits the goaltender and goes off the glass. Frente again, gets it off the pipe and about to stay back. The Shaders recover and are able to clear the zone, but Parente rung one off the iron there. It could have been a power play goal with 5.55 left to go in the second period. Brian bring it back up the side here with Karen. Karen down in the corner, actually dropped one off there for Gastola, but he has to go behind the net. And Karen has it back on his stick now. Behind the goal, pops out. We have a potential breakaway situation developing here as Coat brings it in. Coat moves it back and forth, drops the pack of pass. Now we have a chance for a shot. No, they're going to drop it back again. This one's going to go just to the right of goal. Now in front, still loose, but it'll be eventually corralled by the Eagles and fired back down the ice into the neutral zone. Here come the Eagles right back. So backhand try right in front, and they're going to glove and hold as Olinsky makes the save. Backhand try there came by Shepardson. And we're going to have a stoppage. 5.15 left to go in this one. In the second period at least, 3-2 to two in favor of Monroe Woodbury. I'm Ben Myers for TimesUnion.com and the Sidelines Blog. Thanks for joining us tonight. Double header action here at the Winter Classic. Face off one by Bethlehem and put in behind the goal. Extra little bit of music here for you for the start of this restart here. We've got five minutes left in the period. Put in behind goal. Bodies get tangled up back there and so does the puck. Now it squirts free down in the little corner, eventually grabbed by Earl. Earl puts it back the other way and once again in the corner. Now move back and forth back behind the goal one more time now into the corner and a hit delivered might have almost been boarding there by Moran but he got away with one out near the blue line held in my Dunn moves along behind and once again we're stuck behind the boards now it'll come back out off the glass but Dunn has right there to keep it in for the Crusaders back into the opposite corner Murata there for Monroe Woodbury, now a couple more show up on the scene. Murata with a pass across. Dunn's going to have to hold this one in at the point one more time. He'll dump in again. 4.15 left in the period. Long shift here for the Eagles. Trying to get this puck out of danger. Behind the net. Backhand coming from Murata. 
Back out to Dunn at that point. They keep going back and forth. Couple of bodies smack into the boards on the far side. Sanchez has it pop over his head and behind the goal. Four minutes left in the period. Far side boards, another chance developing here. This one's actually going to be deflected and up and out of play. Coming back now will be Shepherdson. Shepherdson has it up the right side. Tries to get a wrister on, but this one's deflected up and out and over. And we're going to have a stoppage. 3.45 left in the period. Face off, now popped up and out of play, so we're going to have another face off coming to Zelensky's left hand side. One and flinged in initially off the stick of Vincent, but it hit a leg and bounced right back out. Crusaders will bring it back the other way. A couple of moves tried there, but now Pontesecca drives in, hits the Sanchez with the puck, and the goaltender will cover. 3.28 left in the period. Draw one by the Crusaders, Rister on, and it hits Sanchez and knocked into the corner. Cracked down there by Pine on the side. Back behind goal, chance in front, but they couldn't get enough tape on it as Beach took a swing. Bounced up, hits the netting, and we'll have another stop. 316 left in the period. Face off, won by, well, it wasn't really won by anybody, but Crusaders could keep it in. Go along the far side, hit from behind there, but it's no penalty just yet as there's a body down the ice in the front of Ryan Beach. Crusaders dump back in, Ludington doing the job there, but Bethlehem backs it up and trying to get it out of their own zone. Eagles have not had a good go of it in the second period other than one ringing off the post. And they've had one hit off their own post and a goal scored against them in the period. Sanchez covers 244 left in the period. <laughs> Dropped in one by the Crusaders. They'll get one across, but this one's gloved down in front, and now Bethlehem will. Flip it up and out, and not going to have an icing call here as Monroe Woodbury tracks it down before it gets all the way to the end. Mulligan flinging it around the board. Now they'll try and go through the middle and get it to Enright again. Enright's been everywhere. Brings it up the right side through this circle, trying to get past across. Check there on the side and loses the handle, though, and Gastola moves it around the boards. Try the near side now with Coat. Coat tries to bring it in, but he can't do so, and Verstandig comes away with it. Through neutral ice, he'll backhand it, but right to the defense, and I'm in with Woodbury. Gonna have it, and Verstandig making his presence felt. Vincent with a shot on, nice save made there at the back, and it'll be kicked out of danger. Selinski's come up big a couple of times for the Crusaders in this period. Less than two minutes to go. Off the glass. Crusaders gonna have a chance to get this one out. Mulligan. Has it on his stick now after he missed it on the initial try. He'll fire it along the boards and it'll come right back to him, but he'll just push it through. They're trying to get over to Enright here on the near side. They go back to Mulligan. Now the Eagles will come in and steal this one back as they try and get something going on the near side. Shepard's in there. He'll move it along the boards. They're trying to get it back to Caswell now. Caswell backhands it underneath to, Car to Karen. Karen behind the net looking for a pass. Sees Parente up at the point. Gets the pass there. Parente loses the handle over back over the blue line. Stolen turnover there and here come the Crusaders. Rister on Sanchez. Hit him right in the face and bounced over. One minute left in the period. That one went right off, right between the eyes is where that hit Zach Sanchez. Draw controlled by the Eagles. They'll try and move along the board to get it out. And will do so. Chance 
developing here. Now they have a shot at it. Right on Zielinski. He loses the rebound, but he'll cover up quickly. Tested and popped over the net. Less than a minute to go in the period. Now less than 45 seconds. Down into the corner, moved along by Verstandig. Tries to go out to the point. They do so. Bounces along the defenders. Zill Ludington is the one that got there for the Crusaders. Back behind the net. Pine picks it up. Backhand out. They try and get this one out and do so. And now it'll be Beach coming in up the middle. Beach has two defenders there, splits them, but can't get anything going. Pass in, Sanchez had it for a second, then it got bounced away. Now the Crusaders have another chance, 15 seconds left in the period. Drive across the middle, can't get anything going on though. And now Eagles are going to be able to clear this one out. Nine seconds left in the period. Stola brings it in. Both goals so far for the Eagles coming off of his stick. And he has another chance now as he got back on side, but he runs out of time. End of the second period. Monroe Woodbury took a 3-2 lead into the locker room. I'm Ben Myers for TimeShooting.com and the Sidelines Vlog. We'll be back in the third period in just a little bit.